now we'll get to eigenvectors. Uh, we're going to use eigenvectors and eigenvalues to, to come up with a solution to a system. And we're going to use this uh, system as an example. Uh, here we're also given initial values. Uh, when we look for eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we're using the matrix form of the equation uh, of the system. So I'm going to start by writing this matrix, uh, the system in matrix form. I have my x prime is equal to a is my coefficient matrix, 2, 3 for the first row, and 4, negative 2 for the second row. And we don't have any terms that are not x or y. And we'll worry about the initial values later. Uh, if we wanted to, we could write that also in matrix form by saying that the initial values are 2 and 4. An eigenvalue of a matrix A is the number lambda such that the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to 0. Now this I is, is called the identity matrix. And the identity matrix is a, a square matrix that has 1's across the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. For a 2 by 2 matrix, it looks like this, 1, 0, and then 0, 1. For a 3 by 3 matrix, you'd have 1's across the diagonal, so you'd have 3 1's across the diagonal, and then you'd have zeros everywhere else. With the identity matrix, if you multiply any other matrix by the identity, you always get back to the original matrix. It's almost like multiplying by 1. So this a, this bold A and this bold I represent matrices, and the zero matrix is a matrix that has all zeros. If, in this case, this is our A, and so if I take my A and subtract off lambda I, that would give me my matrix A, 2, 3, 4, negative 2, and then I want to subtract off lambda i would subtract off lambda across the diagonals. And it would give me 2 minus lambda, 3, 4, and then negative 2 minus lambda. If you take the determinant of this matrix, I'll get 2 minus lambda and 4 for the first column, and then 3, and then negative 2 minus lambda. The determinant is going to be 2 minus lambda times negative 2 minus lambda minus 3 times 4 is 12. Let me bring this up here so I have more space. Uh, here, if I multiply these out, I'm going to multiply lambdas first. I'm going to get lambda squared. I'm going to get a negative 2 lambda and a positive 2 lambda. Those will cancel out. I'm going to get a negative 4 and my negative 12. Uh, and that's going to give me lambda squared minus 16. We want to set this equal to 0 and solve. So setting it equal to 0, I can bring the 16 over to the right side and I get lambda squared equals 16, or lambda is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, which gives me plus or minus 4. This 4 and negative 4, I'm going to call lambda 1, 4, and lambda 2, negative 4, are eigenvalues. These are eigenvalues. And we're going we're gonna to use those eigenvalues along with eigenvectors to get solutions to the system. Uh, those eigenvalues are actually 
uh, part of the solution. They're part of this coefficient, this lambda 2 and lambda 1 uh, t that, that are in the exp exponent of the exponential term. And the eigenvectors are this v1 and v2, where they're going to be constant vectors that are multiplied by the exponentials. So to get the eigenvector, we want to go back to a minus lambda i. And the eigenvector is this v that when you multiply it by a minus lambda i, you get 0. So let me go back and, uh, and get my, my a. I know that lambda is 4 and lambda is negative 4, plus or minus 4. And a is this vector or, or this uh, matrix 2, 4 in the first column, 3, negative 2 in the second. Two, four, three, negative two. Let me make sure that's right. Two, four, three, negative two. Okay, so a minus lambda i, when lambda is four, then a minus lambda i times v equals zero becomes. See, I'm subtracting off lambda from the diagonals. So I'm going to get 2 minus lambda is 4. 2 minus 4, 3, 4, and then negative 2 minus 4 times some vector v. I'm going to call this v1 and v2 gives me a 0 vector, 0, 0. This gives me, uh, this is going to be a negative 2, 3, and then 4, negative 6, times v1, v2, equals 0. Now, notice that, that when you multiply this out, this gives me a, a system. It gives me negative 2, v1, plus 3, v2, is equal to 0. And it gives me 4v1 minus 6v2 is equal to 0. It gives me a system, and the system is actually a dependent system. If I multiply this first equation by negative 2, I'm going to get 4v1 minus 6v2 is equal to 0. So what you want for, for your vector v is you want one v1 and v2 that will satisfy the equation. You want to choose simple values. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for uh, v1 in terms of v2. I'm going to bring this v1 term over to the right side. So I get 3 v2 is equal to 2 v1. Then I'm going to divide by 2 so that I have v1 solve for it in terms of v2. So I'm going to let my vector that makes this true, I'm going to let v2 be 2. That way I have 3 halves times 2, and then v1 is 3. This vector, 3, 2, makes this statement true. And this is going to be a vector. I'll put a little vector symbol on top. It's like a little half arrow. And that's V1. And that's the eigenvector that corresponds with this eigenvalue of 4. And that gives me my first solution, which will be x1 is V1 is the vector 3, 2, e to the lambda 1, t. Lambda 1 is 4. So for my second solution, I'm going to use my second eigenvalue, which was negative 4. And then I'll do a minus lambda i times some vector v is equal to 0. Uh, in this case, a minus lambda i, I'm subtracting off a negative 4 
or I'm adding 4 across the diagonal. So I'm going to get 2 plus 4 and negative 2 plus 4. It's going to give me a 6, 3 for the first row and a 4, 2 for the second row. Now I want to find a vector that that when it gets multiplied by my coefficient matrix gives me 0. Here if I multiply this out I get 6v1 plus 3v2 equals 0 and 4v1 plus 2v2 equals 0. And again, these are this is a dependent system. All we have to do is find one vector that makes this true. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bring this v2 over to the right side so that I get 4v1 is equal to negative 2v2. And then I'll divide by negative 2. So I get v2 is equal to uh, negative 2v1. And the vector that makes that true, uh, I'm going to let v1 be 1, and then negative 2 times 1 gives me negative 2. The eigenvector that corresponds with an eigenvalue of negative 4 is 1, negative 2. Now, you could have chosen different numbers, uh, and your eigenvector may be different uh, but it, it should be a, a linear combination. In other words, a, a multiple of this. So my second solution is this eigenvector that I just got, 1, negative 2, times e to the lambda negative 4t. The general solution is c1x1 plus c2x2. This is my general solution. And here it says to solve the initial value problem. So to solve the initial value problem, we want to find uh, our initial values. Let me go back. Uh, said that we got 2 and 4. You get 2 and 4 by putting 0 in for, uh, for t. And if I put 0 in for t, then these exponentials drop out. And I'm going to get c1 times 3 and then 2, and then plus c2 times 1 and negative 2. And my first row here gives me 2 equals 3c1 plus c2. And the second row gives me 4 equals 2c1 minus 2c2. Let me multiply this first equation by 2 so that my c2 terms drop out. That way I add and these 2c2 and negative 2c2 drops out. I'll get 8c1 is equal to 8. tells me that c1 is 1. And if c1 is 1, then let's see, this original equation was 2 is 3c1, that's 3 times 1, plus c2. c2 is going to be negative 1. Subtract 3 from both sides. So my solution to the initial value problem is x is equal to c1 is 1. So I just get 3, 2. That's not a fraction, by the way. Uh, 3, 2 e to the 4t, and then c2 is negative 1, so this is going to become a minus 1, negative 2, e to the negative 4t. Okay. 